Here are your 2013 NBA Eastern Conference starters for the All-Star Game. First, we started off with Rajon Rondo and Dwayne Wade in the backcourt. Then playing the center position, we got Kevin Garnett. The big ticket makes his way to the All-Star Game again. And then in the front court, we got LBJ and we got Melo. Now for your Western Conference All-Star starters, we got CP3 and Kobe in the backcourt. Then playing the center position, we got Dwight Howard, D12. Then in the front court, we got Blake Griffin and KD Trey. Kevin Durant, number 35. Those are your Western Conference and Eastern Conference starters for the 2013 All-Star Game in Houston. In this gameplay, I'm playing in the 2013 All-Star Game in Houston with the slightly updated rosters i'm gonna get to that a little later in the video these are the halftime highlights pretty good game i'm actually liking this all-star dlc that we got for nba 2k 13 I, I wasn't a big fan of it at first but it's pretty good it's pretty decent and as you can see they got the new uniforms and everything like that for the players pretty good and in this gameplay i'm gonna just show you what i'm working with in the settings department Casual game sliders when I started this all-star game. That's how the sliders was I didn't mess with it or nothing like that. It was on casual. So I was like, oh, so they Shifted the game sliders on how it would be in real life How they played in real life for the all-star game, which I think is pretty cool You see they don't call a lot of fouls. They don't the offense Sliders are kind of higher and everything like that pretty good And let me show you what mode um, difficulty I'm playing on I should say Hall of Fame and I'm playing with the East, of course. I'm on the East Coast. I'm in New York. You know, I got to represent the East. Even though the Western Conference got... I won't even lie. The Western Conference do have a lot better players. And it is a lot tougher in the Western Conference. But still, the East... I'm still with the East. I got to go with the East. Early on in the video, I was talking about how the rosters were slightly updated for the All-Star Game for 2K13. And it is. The roster isn't exactly the same as in real life because as you can see you see Darren Williams in the game He's not a part of the all-star team in real life I'm gonna tell you guys the players to make the all-star team in real life Here is the Eastern Conference all-stars Playing on the Eastern team. We got Carmelo, LeBron, KG, Rondo, and Dwayne Wade the starters like I mentioned in the beginning of the video then as for the All-Star Reserves for the East, we got Chris Bosh, representing the Miami Heat. We got Tyson Chandler, representing the New York Knicks. We got Luol Deng, representing the Chicago Bulls. We got Paul George, representing the Indiana Pacers. We got Drew Holiday, representing the 76ers. We got Kyrie Irving, representing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Which is shocking, I didn't expect him to make it. He's a very good point guard. I really, I think he might be one of my top favorite point guards in the NBA at this moment. And then last but not least, the last reserve for the East is Joakim Noah representing the Chicago Bulls. Those are the 2013 Eastern Conference All-Stars. And now on to the West. So your Western Conference All-Stars, like I mentioned, like shown in the beginning of the video, are Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, D12, Dwight Howard, Kobe Bryant, and Chris Paul. Those are the Western Conference starters. And as for the Western Conference reserves, we got LaMarcus Aldridge representing the Trailblazers, Tim Duncan representing the San Antonio Spurs, James Harden representing the Houston Rockets, David Lee representing the Golden State Warriors, Tony Parker representing the Spurs, and Zach Randolph representing the Grizzlies, and Russell Westbrook representing the Thunder. Now those are the final rosters for the 2013 All-Star Game in Houston. And as for the roster on 2K13, they didn't... Some of the players that were supposed to be in the All-Star Game is not in the All-Star Game in this game. As you can see right here, I'm subbing through... I was just subbing through the... Whatchamacallit? The players in this game, Darren Williams, who else? Paul Pierce... 
Joe Johnson are all in on the Eastern team and in real life they're not so if you guys are looking to look at the roster on the game and then see those are the to see if those are the real all-stars in real life it's not completely correct that's why at the beginning of the video I said the rosters were slightly updated they had the, they have the starters down packed the starters are good but some of the reserves aren't right and then for the Western Conference as you can see Stephen Curry is on the all-star game and Jamal Crawford is in the all-star game on 2k13 so that's why the rosters isn't completely right I'm not sure if they're gonna update it or not but hopefully they update it sometime soon because I want to play the all-star game again because playing in this game it was pretty fun even though I was getting my ass handed to me most of the game 2k sports really did a good job with this all-star DLC though I didn't think it should have been DLC I think it should have been a part of the regular game but they need to make their money somehow so I don't blame them for charging us for the 2k package all-star package this DLC package didn't disappoint to me at all I got this DLC package for free when I pre-ordered the game about two months earlier before the game came out and the modes in the all-star DLC are pretty good three-point shootout the dunk contest is really good as well and the all-star game they made the all-star game different you need the DLC in order to play it, and I think it's very good I really enjoy playing in the all-star game this entire game because it's as if I'm playing in real life every all the star players are making their shots open shots tough shots shots that they would take in the all-star game fadeaways like that it would go in and stuff like that most of the time that was Kobe's first miss of the game I believe and this is a deep three by Melo let's go look at that that's an actual shot Melo would take in the all-star game it has a different feel to it probably because of the way they did the sliders and everything like that the casual sliders and the fact that I'm playing on Hall of Fame really boosting the CPU the CPU's chance of scoring and stuff like that and then not only can they score at will but I can score at will too because my sliders are up as well so both of our sliders both team sliders are up and it's just overall fun to play and I find it funny that a couple players didn't make the all-star team players from the Western Conference such as Jamal Crawford who's been having a spectacular season I believe they even said he's the second leading scorer for the Los Angeles Clippers how can you be the second leader scorer off the bench for one of the top teams in the NBA right now and not make the all-star team I think that's really insane and Stephen Curry as well Stephen Curry been having an amazing season he's he's really made a huge impact on his Warriors team without him as you can see the Warriors are nothing their record suffers when he's not playing and when Stephen Curry is on the floor he is just amazing and fun to watch. He's been having an amazing season. He has turned the Warriors, the whole Warriors franchise around. And now it looks like they're going in the right direction with him leading the way. Him and David Lee. Which I find funny that David Lee made the All-Star game and he didn't. I personally think that Stephen Curry should have made the All-Star team over David Lee. I mean, I'm not saying that David Lee don't deserve it. He does deserve to be in the All-Star game too. But... I just believe Stephen Curry had a more legit claim to being in the All-Star game over David Lee. Another player in the Eastern Conference I believe should have made the All-Star game is J.R. Smith. Not, not just because I'm a Knicks fan and everything like that, but the fact that he's been that, that one player off the bench that can provide instant offense for the team. He, come, he normally comes in about three four minutes into the game when Carmelo wasn't here he put the team on his back he was the leading scorer he hit game winning shots and he made huge plays down the stretch to help his team to win now if that's not an all-star caliber player then I don't know what is for some reason the all-star game to me is in a popularity contest a huge popularity contest and I think that's unfair to the players that deserves to be in the all-star game I'm just using this as an example for example, Kobe Bryant could have the worst season of his career. Russell Westbrook as well, or someone like Kevin Durant could have the worst season. Even Carmelo Anthony who shot the, a career low 
in 2012 and field goal percentage still somehow made the all-star game and it's because of their popularity it's because they are well known and i think that's extremely unfair to players i believe that some players in this all-star game today should not be there it's unfair to players like monte ellis stephen curry jamal crawford jr smith hell even joe johnson brooke lopez players that work their butt off every game players that do well every game they work hard they do all that stuff and they still can't make the all-star game because they're not a known name that's extremely unfair to them and it's just taken away from the game in my opinion but it's still going to be a great all-star game i mean we do have carmelo anthony there just saying <laughs> now nah, i'm just messing with you guys but yeah that's it guys tell me what you guys think about the all-star team for 2013 and i'm gonna show you guys the box score right now 25 points with Carmelo Anthony. I didn't really use many other players much. I didn't really need to. I didn't use Paul Pierce or Joe Johnson. They're not in the real All-Star game, so why use them? It makes no sense. And then for the West, the CPU just abused Kobe Bryant and Kevin Durant. I mean, come on now. Look at look at their field goal percentages and look at the rest of the team. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. Comment in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for the support. Let's go East.